Consider supporting the Sci-Fi Collective on Patreon from only a dollar a month. Link below in the description. Hey, thank you for stopping oh, yeah. to talk to us. Oh, absolutely. First of all, so excited to see the documentary. And with Deep Space Nine now uh, in its 25th year, and it, it, it obviously created a lot of waves that other shows have followed in its wake and hit on a lot of hard subjects. Yourself being involved with a lot of uh, like the uh, topics that really pushed a lot of boundaries and buttons. Was there any points in the show that it, uh, it felt like you was really, uh, because you dealt with things like occupation, like uh, being beaten and things. Being was a it, terrorist. Exactly. Uh, was there any points that uh, really stood out to you as uh, like really being not controversial, but um, almost like like touching boundaries where you're like okay this is going to get a reaction well it sounds funny but back in the day having a, a, a passionate kiss with a female mm -hmm. which I did uh, as the intendant felt like pushing a boundary not only that but it was kind of me too ish because mm -hmm. I was a person of power yeah. um, that certainly felt like it was pushing a boundary and I certainly knew it when I walked on the set because all of a sudden our set was filled with grips and electricians and people mm -hmm. from all the other sets mm -hmm. on the Paramount lot. Mm -hmm. um, everyone had heard about this scene and they were coming to see it. So yeah, it, it certainly felt like uh, we were doing something strange. But once I jump in a pool, mm -hmm. I'm in. Yeah. And that's how I felt about my character. Mm -hmm. And there was no going back. There was no questioning or going, no, I'm going to pull back from this. Mm -hmm. I was in. And with the uh, the long term, uh, are they aren't they with Odo? How did you feel as uh, for your character? Did you just wish that she would just I, forget I, Beryl? Or I have to tell you, I, I always had trouble with the romantic uh, yeah. people on, that I was put with because mm -hmm. they were all these you know kind of hunky guys mm -hmm. uh, or another main character and I kind of wished it was someone of no consequence mm -hmm. that she you know was attracted to and it mm -hmm. didn't matter what you know maybe the lizard guy that was on the mm -hmm. promenade someone who maybe no one could understand but yeah. she did so yeah, yeah I, I, I wish and I at the time there was a lot of television where there was tension between friends mm -hmm. and then you find out that it's because they're in love with each other so yeah. I really wanted our friendship to be a real friendship yeah. at, without a sexual overtone mm -hmm. but when it turned out to not be that I was glad of course because playing with Rene Aubergenois I couldn't have a better tennis player you know yeah. what I mean it was great and also it's one of those things that it it was beautiful to see that friendship flourish yes into something that was really beautiful yes it was true love and the, yeah. and and it and it pointed it out by the fact that she was fine with letting him go at the end mm -hmm. it, it was real love and with the documentary so excited to see it uh, was there any points that you uh, that uh, that Ira had brought up uh, to you that uh, br it brought a tear to your eye or uh, there's you'll see it there's a, a very controversial part that I'm involved in and it it made me go <gasps> um, and, but there was nothing I could do about it at the end of the day and you'll see it you'll mm -hmm. see it looking forward to it and thank you so much You're for so all welcome. of the work that you've done on Deep Space Nine uh, thank you. your work has meant so much to so many of us I really appreciate that thank, thank you. you have a lovely evening you too bye enjoy bye. it will do Thank you.